Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is... <laughs> well, it's a comparison video. So, the topic of today is one day. Yes. So, a number of years ago, I read One Day by David Nichols. And, well, it took me a while to get through it because... <laughs> It's very dense. I don't know if it's the author's way of writing that makes it very dense, but it's it's very dense. <laughs> uh, I've also read a uh, Start of a Ten and the other s Understudy by the same author, and it's the same kind of deal with those. So maybe. <laughs> so now that I've said that, uh, what's the book about? So, we follow um, Emma and Dexter um, <laughs> throughout their life, basically. So they meet on uh, their graduation on July 15th in 1988. In 1988, on the 15th of July, Rosie... No, not Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, Emma and Dexter meet and from then on we see them one time of year, one day a year, every year for the unforeseeable years. Um, so we mostly see them in their 20s and the early 30s and the book, the story, it's really about love and friendship and you know growing up and trying to figure out your your sense of purpose and all that so it's it's a heavy topic it's basically just life and all that but at the same time these two people although they spend their majority um just being friends their best friends um they do love each other in a way that they don't really communicate very well to both themselves and each other um so basically we spend one day a year with them and we just spend that day and then we have to figure out what's happened like in the year from when we last saw them and we don't get really a lot of details about that it's basically just that one day we get information about and then we move on to the next day next day the same day the next year so yeah i read the book it took me a good long while to read the book and i think the only reason i picked up this book and the other two books was because at the time carrie hope fletcher uh, it was like among her favorite books and i was definitely following her um and not doing everything she said but uh, uh, when it came to books, I definitely tried to pick up whatever she said was good. So I did that. And <laughs> do I regret it? Slightly, because I don't think this author is for me. But I've read three of his books, so I gave it a go. Also, now I have a reason to do this video, because in... I don't remember when I read this book. It must have been after, but in, let's see, 2011, the movie adaptation with Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis came out. I mean, knowing what happens in this book, I figure, yeah, why not see a two-hour movie? Well, why not? I mean, the movie's good. The movie adaptation of the book, it, it doesn't have all of the book, um, but it does have the essence of the book so i want to say that the movie adaptation is good enough and i'd say read <laughs> i'd say see the movie rather than read the book yes but now now it's 2024 and netflix has released an adaptation a series no less on 14 episodes so i mean we didn't just need a book we didn't need a two-hour movie. No, now we have 14 episodes to suffer through. I say suffer through. It's a good series. Don't get me wrong. It's very well done. And I thoroughly enjoyed most of it. <laughs> the bits I didn't enjoy are the sad parts, okay? Yes. So the series gives us a lot more of the book. 
and I think since it's been a while since I read the book I think it actually also added on a few bits I know they changed a few bits because uh, I mean I'm pretty sure the character in the book is uh, a white female and Anne Hathaway is a white female and <laughs> um, I'm gonna check her name because I don't actually know so her name is Ambika Mod. She's definitely not a white female. Um, <laughs> this is not something I, uh, I don't disagree with the casting. I think they did an excellent job. But because she's not a white female, they had to change the character's background slightly to make it fit her uh, in playing that character. Um, I really enjoyed that they... So in the movie, most, mostly what we see is skinny white people. It's not a bad thing generally but you know go with the times have some variation and because <laughs> not all of us are skinny white people now are we? No we are not. I mean I may be white but I'm definitely not skinny. <laughs> so I thoroughly enjoyed the casting although there are a lot more people in the movie that I actually recognize but I thoroughly enjoyed the casting of this series a lot more being that all of these characters actually look like real people and not just skinny white people. And that's amazing. That's bloody amazing. Um, so I really like that. Saying that, I don't think I actually have seen any of the actors um, previously, despite um, Tim McInerney. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> I've seen him before. Um, I think that's the only actor I've seen before um, that I know of before, I should say, rather, because I, I could have seen any of the other people, actors, before and just not really taken notice, but there we go. So, <laughs> oh. I sort of binged the series, I'm not gonna lie. I I did it over, well, technically two days because I started in the evening and then I finished it in the morning, afternoon, the next day. And then I spent the next two days having a headache because, well, the, the of the last episodes where I bawled my eyes out, so much so <laughs> that I got a bloody headache. Yes, apparently I'm that sensitive. Um, I do question though, did we need all of these adaptations of this book, which is horrifically sad? Winston, <laughs> your tail. Don't show your butt. Don't show your butt on camera. This is, this is on the internet, dude. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah. I mean, I definitely did not need to read the book, see the movie, and see the series. Um, especially not considering the massive headache I got after bawling my ass out after having watched the series. So, there's that. I did think it was so well made. So, there's that. So, I'm, I'm very conflicted. I'm very conflicted. Do I tell you to go watch it? Or not. <laughs> I mean, yes, do go watch it, but if you are crying like yeah, me, apparently, well, I know I, I'm very emotional <laughs> sometimes. I'm super emotional. I will cry at everything. Um, it's not great always. But if you cry as much as I did and give yourself a headache, don't blame me. Don't, do not blame me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think out of the book, movie and the series, the series is definitely the better one out of all of them and yeah, thoroughly enjoy that. Although I want to take a note on something. So, um, the character Dexter, I feel like they could have, at some points along the way, they could have messed up his hair a bit just to make it more, you know, feel more right because it's too sleek and pretty lying and at one point he's a bit of a, not a rock god, but he's in his like rock era being on this, this TV personality person that 
does a lot of late night TV screaming things. <laughs> I don't know what kind of explanation that was, but as Jesus Christ, Winston, at some points I just wanted to like mess up his hair and just not make him look so prim and proper. Just listen to me. That's, that's the biggest note I have. Yeah. Because whereas um, Emma, her character, she has like through the ages, <laughs> through the ages, through the, through the years, she has different hairstyles and haircuts and stuff. And Dexter basically has the same thing throughout. And it's like, well, you can sort of see like he's aging because, I mean, he goes from his early 20s to his early 30s. So it's like 10 plus years. And you can see he's aging up in like the physical aspect of the sense. I don't know what kind of makeup they did or what, what's happening, but they made him look older from the beginning to the end. Does that make sense? Anyway, his hair though, just messed it up a little bit. Or can his hair not do that? Maybe his hair can't do that. Anyway, <laughs> that's my biggest objection of the whole thing. Um, I enjoyed myself, but also I didn't like the uh, last bit experience because of all the crying. But it's sweet. It's sweet and I'm going to start crying now. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional just talking about it. No, no crying right No, I'm serious. No, this is embarrassing. No. <laughs> Okay, um, before I actually start crying, this is so bad, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Can you see? Oh no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna quit before I actually start bawling my eyes out because I can feel the tears coming. So, um, have you read the book? Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the series? Are you planning to do any of the things? Um, let me know. Let's have a chat and possibly not cry about it because I, I, I can't take more crying, okay? I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care and don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs>